Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. In this session, we are going to discuss addition and subtraction of fractions. In our previous sessions, we have already discussed about addition and subtraction of integers as well as decimals. I hope you might have practiced with the same. So you will be more comfortable in this session. Let's begin with our first problem. Friends, in this case, we are given a problem involving addition and subtraction of mixed fractions. Friends, in most of the cases, uh, when these sort of problems are uh, going to be a part of maybe any competitive exam, maybe a school exams or maybe any entrance examinations, we just look at the problem and start writing. We, uh, in fact, in this case, it is actually not necessary to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. What the mistake students do, I just uh, write it over here. What they do is, they just try to convert this uh, mixed fraction into a, an improper fraction by doing 13 plus 2, 26 plus 1, 27 by 2. Then 14 uh, into 3, that is 42 plus 1, that is 43 by 3 and so on. This method is actually correct but it is very time consuming and uh, lots of calculation is also involved in this. So we can avoid this by splitting the number by splitting the fraction mixed fraction into an integer and an proper uh, into a uh, into an integer and a and uh, proper fractions. Okay friends. So 13 and a half can be written as 13 plus half. Similarly, 14 1 by 3 can be written as 14 plus 1 by 3. But as far as competitive exams are concerned, we are uh, not having that much time ki, uh, we just copy the problems at some other place and then start solving. So what we do is we try to calculate it wherever the problem is written. So let's begin with the uh, problem. So it's 3 plus 4 7 minus 5 2 plus 2 4 minus 7 minus 3 so i don't write minus 3 what i'll do is i'll borrow 1 so 10 minus 3 it will be 7 now i am having negative 1 with me so that negative 1 plus this one is 0 then 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 6 is 5 and 5 minus 3 2 friends you might have observed that i have taken only integral part of the uh, of these mixed fractions so in the first step, I have calculated the integral part only. Now I will be calculating or I will be observing the fractional part also. Now you just observe, it is positive 1 by 3 and it is negative 1 by 3. So both of them will be cancelled. Similarly, it is positive 2 by 3 and it is negative uh, 1 by 3. So we will be having a positive 1 by 3. Similarly, we will be having this half. So this calculation is 27 plus, uh, let us take the LCM, 2 plus 3 upon 6. So 27 plus 5 by 6, so which is actually 27, 5 by 6. In case of entrance examinations, if you are provided with the uh, options, you can observe the calculation must be around 27. If there is only one option around 27, then you can easily mark with that. And if there are more than one options, then this calculation is required which you can do even mentally. I hope you are clear about the method. Let's take one more problem. Now let's begin with this problem. We will be just taking integral part in the first step. Let's begin. 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9, minus 3, 6 and minus 1, 5. Then 5 plus 7 12 plus 8 20 minus 2 18 18 minus 2 16 i'll write 6 over here and 1 will be carried over that one plus this 2 is 3 so the integral calculation is 365 now let's take the fractional part also it is 2 by 5 and it is 2 by 5 uh, that is 4 by 5 plus 1 by 5 5 by 5 so that will give a 1 Similarly, it is minus 4 by 7 and it is minus 3 by 7. So, we, what we will be getting is minus 7 by 7. So, minus 7 by 7 is actually minus 
one. So this one and this one will be cancelled. So finally, we will be getting 365. So students, you might have observed that without converting these mixed fractions into improper fractions or fractions, we have calculated, we have done the calculations so quick, so fast. Okay, so and uh, you might have observed we didn't copy the problem anywhere else. So it is great time saving in this case. Okay, let's take more problems. Now let's take this problem. Further, let's begin. We'll be just calculating the integral part. Is 3 plus 9, 12 minus 8, 4 minus 5 minus 1 plus 6 will be getting 5. Then 2 plus 2, 4 minus 4, 0 minus 2 plus 4 will be getting 2. Then 6 plus 7, 13 minus 4, 9 minus 1, 8 plus 2, 10. I write 0 over here. In fact, I will be writing 10 over here. So we are uh, complete with the, our integral calculation. Now let's observe the fractional part. It is 3 by 8 plus 2 by 8. That is 5 by 8. 5 by 8 minus 1 by 8 that is 4 by 8 so we are getting 4 by 8 as positive 4 by 8 is actually 1 by 2 okay now we are getting positive 1 by 2 and this is negative 1 by 2 so this 1 by 2 and this 1 by 2 will get cancelled now we are left with only 3 by 4 that 2 is positive so our final calculation is 1025 3 by it's so simple friends you just have to practice with the method let's take uh, one or two more problems now let's take this problem <coughs> now we start calculating um, just the integral part it's 4 plus 5 9 minus 8 1 plus 6 7 minus 3 4 then 2 plus 2, 4, minus 9, minus 5, minus 5 plus 2, minus 3, minus 3 and minus 3, minus 6, will borrow 1. So, 10 minus 6 will be getting 4 and I have negative 1 with me. Now, negative 1 plus this 3, I will be getting positive 2 and 2 minus 2, 0. Then, 5 minus 2, I will be getting 3 and the last is so integral calculation is 1, 3, 4, 4. Now let's see the fractional calculations. This uh, I am having 2 by 3, 2 by 5. This is positive 2 by 5. And this is negative 2 by 5. So both of them will be cancelled. Now this is negative 3 by 4 and this is positive 3 by 4. So what will be getting? Minus 2 by 4 that is minus half. Then it is, uh, this portion is plus 2 by 3. Now let's finish this calculation. It's uh, 2 by 3 minus half. It's 2 twos are 4 minus 3 by 6. So it's 1 by 6. So 1, 3, 4, 4 plus 1 by 6 is 1, 3, 4, 4, 1 by 6. This is the final answer. Okay friends, I hope you might have understood the method. Let's take one, uh, one more problem. Now, in this problem, let's begin. It's 9 plus 5, 14. 14 minus 5 further 9. 9 minus 3, 6. Minus 9, minus 3. So, we have to borrow 1. So, uh, 10 minus 3, it will be 7. And I am having negative 1 with me. Negative 1 plus 2, I'll, I'll be getting 1 plus 2, 3, 3 minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3, minus 3, minus 2 is minus 5. Further, I have to borrow 1. So, 10 minus 5, I will be getting 5 and I have negative 1 with me. Now, negative 1 plus this 7, I will be getting 6, plus 8, 14, minus 6, 8, minus 1, 7. So, it is 7, 57. That is the integral part. Now we are left with the fractional part. Here it is positive 1 by 7. Here it is negative 1 by 7. So it will be cancelled. 
similarly it is minus 2 by 7 and it is minus 4 by 7 so it will be minus 6 by 7 and we are left with 3 by 4 so let's calculate this 7 3s are 21 minus 4 6 are 24 by 28 so it is 21 minus 24 by 8 that is 3 by 28 but that too is negative okay so what i can do is i can write it 756 plus 1 minus 3 upon 28 then i'll be doing 756 28 minus 3 that is 25 by 28 isn't it so simple friends i hope you might have enjoyed the session you will be practicing with the method and uh, uh, in the next session we'll be uh, doing more calculations we'll be learning more methods all the best